Now that the All-Star race is complete, the Andre Cup Series rolls back into action at Iowa Speedway for race 11 of Season 8. On the pole for today's event is the number 98 of Prima McShane, to our outside is Will Parrish. Third and Nathan Orman, fourth Winnie Calhoun, running at the top five is Skylar Taylor. Bigelow, Stapleton, Harmon, Miles, Saatchi are the rest of the top ten as the pace car goes in, getting set for 50 laps of racing here at Iowa Speedway. They say they come to the green flag. It's out. We're racing at Iowa. McShane is your lap one leader. Side by side for second place, three wide for third. Getting very close back here. Almost four wide. I don't think that's going to work. The 94 is going to go around on the back straight over, but he's going to save it. Is he going to come back up the racetrack? The 20 is, and they're going to go into the wall. I believe that's going to put the first caution out of the day. The 84 goes up and over the 77's hood and will land upside down. On the front stretch, and that will definitely bring out the caution. The 98 led them back. And uh, let's take a look at both incidents here real quick. As a lot went on in that second lap. And one of them was pretty pretty major, and the other one was kind of minor. Here's the, here's the more minor incident. And um, let's go ahead and go back, see where this all transpired, because it was a bit... Uh, further back than I thought it was. You see back there with the 32, 94, 43, and 77, that's where this all started. That's where they got the 94 spinning down the racetrack, got into the 20. The 94 goes down to the inside, saves it, but the 20 gets put back down below the apron and slides up into the 32. They go into the wall, and I'll have to see it back up there. I believe the 77... Might have had a hand in that. Yes, he did. So, Oskin was also down there from uh, that collision. And you're going to see right here the 94 heading towards the inside wall, but clips Sachi and saves it. Now, the 20 goes back up, hits Will Parrish. That's pretty much all that happened there. But this is going to be a bit bigger uh, accident as the 43 gets made contact with the... Uh, 77 and then the 77 goes back down into the 43 again which gets the 84 into the wall and Casey Wells gets up on their side and starts rolling rolls up on top of the 77's hood after getting hit by the 32 and lands upside down so a wild ride for the driver of the 84 here has uh, just really going about their day and thought they were going to get through that fine, but the 77 just couldn't get back up. And wild barrel roll down the front straightaway ends up on their lid. So one more time, this is going to be quite the view of this one. You see a 20 and the 32 hit the wall back there, but that is definitely not the worst of this crash. Under caution for the first time today here at Iowa. We'll get back green here in a matter of laps pretty soon here. In fact, there is the one to go, the 98, the 45, the 92, the... 83 and the 66 are your top 5. Coming to the screen flag and round out the top 10, the 97, 24, 78, 91, and 21. Only two cars out from that accident are the 84, obviously, and the 77. The 20 and 32 are still in it, as well as the 43. So we go back green with McShane, your leader in front of Skylar Taylor in the Napa 45. Now the 98's going to go wide, leaving room for Taylor. Almost gets to the quarter panel on the 98. That would have been uh, disastrous based off of what we saw earlier in the race. Still trying to get to the quarter panel. 
and it looks like it'll pay off with the 45 getting to the inside. Did not turn the 98, although really, look, really looked like he was going to. Joshua Harrison looking for another win this season. No, that's going to turn the 98 around. No, it's not. She's going to save it. Oh, and they're going to wreck back there. No, they're not. They're going to completely keep it straight. I mean, they had it sideways for a second. Oh, now they're... That's... Come on. That's got to be a caution. Yes, it is. Okay. So, we're racing it back. Um... Yeah, wow. What a lap. Looks like the 45 will hold off the 83 as some more contact with McShane. She keeps getting better around. Oh my goodness, a huge accident back here. Multiple cars involved in this one. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about here. Um, Sachi was one of them who got beaten and battered around. Uh, but we got we to... Gotta, handle first first things first you see the 45 getting into the 98 she goes up the racetrack here comes the 92 and i think this is going to happen into three yes it is the 78 sends the 92 into the 98 she gets sideways saves it then the 91 gets sent into the corner gets into the wall and i don't i think that was a no call I've got to go back and check if that was what caused the caution initially, because they, they wrecked it big afterwards. We just check back here if it was. It wasn't. So yeah, that that might have been the, the breaking point for the officials. That might have been, you know, okay, maybe there's a bit too much chaos going on. But what we really have to check out is what, I mean, what happened up here, because there was major carnage. They're going like four or five wide up here. Oh my gosh, Vargas stuck in the wall. So that gives the five damage. And then they're wrecking up front. Big hit with the 42. He got airborne, I saw. Oh, and gets slammed by the 43. We gotta go back. All right, so up here, you're going to see the double zero get up into the wall. You get stuck. Oh, it's uh, on Jack up ahead. Oh, okay, hold on. So three wide with Fitzwater, and he gets into the wall. And the 42, I think it's just going to get rammed into by the 03 in the rear. And that's not going to be the last time that happens. Because here comes Saatchi. Completely finishes the job. Uh, Jefferson was also involved. Where is he coming to this? Oh, just barely clipped the 66. Uh, I think that's going to end the 20s day. There's the 94 coming in late. Not quite sure what he hit. Oh, got spun by the 91 who got clipped by the 32. There is a lot to look at here. And this was in the... This was on the race back. So... If we get one of these cars, we might be able to see the uh, <laughs> the uh, ground shot that we have coming down the back stretch. Oh, it's a lap prior. Wow! Oh, <laughs> what a shot! Oh, the 42 getting hit, and then here it comes again. Uh, Anton Trouble also in that action. Austin Robb was there as well. That's going to have some points implications, I bet. Uh, Hunter was in this one. Rose Henson. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes out half the field. 
from from the race. I mean, I know from contention, but wow. Uh, we might try and get one more from afar, and that's it. There, there's really a lot to look at here. Don't want to make the replay too long. Never mind, that's a bad angle. So, yeah, you can see we've already got only 17 cars remaining in this race, and I think only 10 or so of them are going to be competitive. The 45, the 83, the 98, the 78, the 97, the 24, the 59, the 21, the 4, the 17, the 25, the 29, the 73, all without damage. That is your top 12, 13. Everyone else out of this one. So Pace Car is back in. We're back green here at Iowa. Look at the 78, dive it down in the corner. The 98 is pretty much just a punching bag this race. As she gets put to the outside. Here comes the 83 for the lead. I believe Harrison looking for his third win of the season. The 45 looking for his first as he went way wide there. And yeah, everyone back here getting held up. I think, I mean, these two are fine, but I'm not quite sure. If the damage that anyone else has. Oh, they're wrecking again. The 97, and he gets ran into by the 17. So. Missed that. 83 let him back with the 78 behind. There's really not much to look at here, I, I don't think. You got the 97 going up the racetrack into the 45, and that's going to put him behind. But he's crosses the line in the top 10, I feel, and... Then Andy Thomas gets into the 97. We can look at this one more time. We just spent a lot of time with that first replay, so... The watch time's gonna be big. Yeah, Stapleton just gets sideways on the front stretch. That brings out the caution. He was fully sideways. That was pretty warranted, as he had cars piling in. They got slowed down fine, so really nothing else to... To look at the 17 is on pit road wonder if their day will be done but caution number three here at iowa we have so many cars out so you got to be careful with the 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 replay but now we have joshua harrison josh Harmon, pre mcshane zachary Fitzwater senior roberto crown jr Evan Hunter, Skylar Taylor back here in 7th with side damage. Stephen Colon in the top 10 now with Zachary um, Delolo and Anton Trabois who has uh, a lot less damage than I thought. I think he just might have a tiny bend in the hood and that might be it. But we're back green at Iowa. Great restart for the 78 right behind the 83. Can you do anything with it, especially when the 83 goes way wide? It looks like Harrison gets the run off the corner. Leaves plenty of room that time around again. But gets the run off the outside lane. Caution's out. For the 25 this time. And will the 78 get the lead? They rub. They touch. Are they going to force each other in the wall? They are. And give the lead back to Premix Shane. And let's have another short replay here with the 25. I'm sure there's not much to this one. It was just a single car spin it looked like. Yep. Cologne went wide into the 45, uh, got spun around by the 73, went spinning on the front stretch. Luckily, no one hits him. One more time from a different angle, the 45 is just running his lane, the 25 
loses the grip and gets into Taylor, spun around across the start finish line. So I think he's, I mean, he's still scored pretty good. So he does have a bit of rear end damage though. And the 17 ripped off the hood on pit road. So there is the one to go this time. Uh, hopefully we can keep it green for the next half of the race. We are only halfway through this one. Uh, as Pre McShane, Josh Harmon, Joshua Harrison, Roberto Crown Jr., Evan Hunter, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., Skylar Taylor, Zachary DeLillo, Anton Charbois, and Joey Cover are your top 10 for this uh, restart at uh, exactly 25 laps to go. So they're going to round off the third and fourth corners. That's another car with damage, by the way. So I think it's just the top ten with nothing. So we'll see here how this turns out. Back green and another good restart for the 78 who has side damage. As well as the 83, but I don't know. Who doesn't? You got the 98, maybe it's fine. Spot list of... 21, but it's not going to affect Josh Harmon at all. As he goes to the inside, waiting to see if the 98 will give room, she will not. But the 83 forcing the issue probably saw what, oh wait, no, she's definitely going to room out of turn number four. She hits the wall and now she does have side damage. Still no caution out. 78 goes wide here, side by side down the back straightaway. The 78 and 83. It's been a bit of a four dominated event with the top three being the 83, 78, and 98. 78 in the wall again. That might change here with Evan Hunter moving into third as those guys hit the wall. So Roberto Grun Jr. trying to work his way into the top three as he gets below Hunter. Oh, into the wall goes to 45 now. And the trouble on the front straightaway happens again. And Cobra is going to get hit by the 92. That might finish one of them off. I don't know. Under caution again, the 83 led him back and he's still racing back the line. Everyone else took the flag. So Fitzwater was already in the wall here, and the 45 lost grip. A lot of people are uh, losing grip, maybe losing their tires this late in the race. You see the 73 also into the wall as the 45 just gets sideways on the front straightaway, gets up against the 59, and it's it's pretty black and white. Once again, car gets into the wall, and another one slides up into them. And they go spinning down the front stretch. It's pretty much the same thing that's happened throughout the race. Past, past three cautions. And there's the 92 and the 29 getting into it. Uh, I think the 92 just retired from the race. Yes, he did. So there are now 16 cars remaining in this one. But regardless, we have Joshua Harrison out front again with Josh Harm behind. The 4 of Evan Hunter has entered this battle. Let's see if he can contend on this restart. Same with the 21 of Rupert Brown Jr. The 98 of Premix Chain has fallen down to 5th. The 73, the 28, the 7, the 24, the 25 round out the top 10. Less and less on damaged cars. So at the Iowa Speedway, which has proven to be chaotic so far. Back green. Spread out for the first 
two corners and down the back straightaway as all four of these people take the first, uh, the first groove down the last few corners and just checking in the back to see if no one crashes. It looks like they stay clean that time. The 78 did lead that lap with the 83 now moving up the racetrack. The 4 now has a window to take advantage and take that spot away from Joshua Harrison. But look out, the 21 moving up the racetrack. That might be trouble as they gain into the wall. Crown Jr. goes sideways in front of the 73 who dives it down in there trying to make a pass on the outside as he takes advantage of the 21 being slow down there. But I don't think it will work. He'll have to try and go on the inside as he gets put to the outside by the 28 and he will get past a 70, uh, the 83 now on the wall. Land the 21 and the 28 by. Now it's up to the 4 to try and catch the 78 who went wide that corner just a little bit but the 4 did not grain, did not gain any ground at all. I mean, is that 78 just maybe faster? Yeah, it was a definite time gain there. And he definitely stuck the bottom that time pretty perfectly, so... Yeah, Josh Harmon might be getting away with this one. As we get into the late stage of the race, look how slow and conservative they're going into the corners. They're not really setting it by any means. And a round goes to 59. Is this going to be a caution? I think it has to be. There's multiple cars in this one. Yes, it will be. So it will be able to restart late in the race. The 70 and the 4. Your top two, probably. And all I can say is this is probably because of the tires being completely gone. Yeah, so the 29 hit the wall, the 59 went a little bit wide, it's just the 29 coming down the racetrack. So let's just look at the whole accident again, this time in slow motion. The 29 is just getting it sideways after hitting the wall. That gets into the 59. Here comes the 25 plowing into this one. The 98 had such a good day going before this, but unfortunately she is going to actually wait. No, just couldn't squeeze her way through because the 25 got hooked by the 17 into her, but... I mean, they, they wrecked across the line, so if they if they got a lot of damage, if they come down pit road, they'll lose all of it. So we'll see if, you know, they pit. But yeah, that sends both the 29 and 59 sideways, as well as the 25. He has very big hood damage. The 32 is even more damage than before. I think this will take the 25 out, yeah. So we have exactly half the competitors remaining in this race. And it will be a restart with uh, seven to go. And if they're going to wreck, they're going to have to do it in the next two laps only if they want to caution, uh, and which will not end the race. As the pace car goes in, Harmon and Hunter are top two, Charbois behind. Crown Jr. and DeLolo to round out the top five as we're back green. The 28 got a better restart than the four. But that really amounts to nothing as they go single file through the first two corners. Now this is where they really spread out. Seventeen in the wall, the thirty-two makes contact, but they keep it straight. And they're I think tires kicked in. The lap times have gone way down. I think there's very little opportunity to pass anymore. The four will have to have some time trial laps if he wants to catch the seventy eight, but that won't matter if they crash again and there's another caution.
I think Josh Harmon just has it dialed in. The four is far too back to really capitalize on anything. I mean, he did gain quite a bit of time there, I feel like, but did not have the off-corner speed as the 24 goes down to the inside. When he comes back up, does he get the 83? Not really. We'll see. They're hooking each other almost, but they keep it straight. As they, they, they're really, they're, they're slowing down to below a, a hundred miles an hour. They can't even get up above a hundred in the turns. As the four gets the wall, yeah, not sure what happened here at Iowa Speedway. It's uh, pretty much a disaster of the race. Uh, and it's it's gonna end that way. Well, we'll see straightaway speeds get up to 130, but that's really the most they can do. As Hunter is gonna lose almost a top five spot, he is relegated back to fourth. As the white flag comes out, one more lap to go here at Iowa. Josh Harmon, your leader, and it looks like he's gonna come away with the checkered flag. There's really no room for mistakes as these guys are really cautious through the corners. Yeah, the 28 diving it in as much as he can, but off of turn number four, Josh Harmon is going to win a weird race here at the Iowa Speedway. And the 28 gets second on Chin Charbois. Really tried catching up the end, but really just couldn't cast it up that much. I'm not quite sure what happened there at the end. They were just so slow. Uh, the 73 is Zachary Delo ends up third past the four at the end. Who gets uh, fourth, and uh, Roberto Crown Jr. ends up fifth. Nathan Stapleton went around earlier in the race. He gets sixth, same with Skylar Taylor, seventh. Rose Henson tops this day out with the eighth place finish. Nathan Orman, ninth, and Joshua Harrison, who had a good car all day, ends up tenth. McShane, eleventh. Cobra, twelfth. Will Parrish, thirteenth, and Annie Thomas, fourteenth. That is it for... Everyone in the race, I think, no, wait, Fitzwater's in, and everyone else is out. So, yeah, I don't know about that one. I really don't. Harmon comes out with the win, though. Let's go to victory lane with the 78 uh, for driver. Thank you for watching the Android Cup Series. We'll see you next time.